but God is going to raise up some people. There's a generation that's coming. There are yet 7,000 in Israel. Come on, talk to me, Elijah. They have not bowed down their knees to Baal. There is a generation that's coming up. They are going to be radical. They're going to be militant. They're going to be doing the things that God has called them to do. They're not going to care about what people say about them or what people think about them. They're not going to care about what people will talk about them or what they did in their past because this, because all things have passed away and all things have become new today. And I'm going to say this in the name of Jesus. God is raising up people and he's going to be bringing them from the north the south the east and the west and they're going to be anointed they're going to be spirit filled they're going to be baptized in the holy ghost they're going to flow in signs wonders and miracles i say get ready get ready get ready oh my god the lord is saying to this house i am raising up intercessors and prayer warriors in this assembly i am a releasing and anointing to pray god says it's time to pray somebody say pray the bible says men all must always to pray and not faith the effective and fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much the reason why so many things have happened in the in the church was not when i was not of god because the watchmen have gone to sleep they are going to sleep at the gate they have allowed the enemy to creep in the church instead of praying they stood by and started murmuring and they started complaining when things reach a boiling point then they want to leave the church the Bible says Israel in the wilderness saw the hand of God moving and yet they still murmured and yet they still complained and ended up going in circles for 40 years until every last one of them was dead. Complaining will get you nowhere. It's going to make you stagnant. Come on somebody. That's why some folks are in church so long but they got spiritual arthritis because they keep stifling the flow by attacking everything that goes on but the devil is a liar. God is saying to this house uh, to stop complaining and start praying. When we pray, things happen. The church is not supposed to be a thermometer. We're supposed to be a thermostat. A thermometer measures temperature. Thermostats regulate temperature. We are not just called just to talk about the problem. We are called, we are anointed to provide the solution. We are not called to measure the atmosphere, but all God wants us to do is to change the atmosphere. Come on, talk to me. Somebody say, change the atmosphere. Uh, anything you see in the church that you don't like, don't go on the phone and talk the pastor name. Change the atmosphere. Don't go and gossip with a sister or brother. Change the atmosphere. Don't go on Facebook and Instagram and post nothing condemning this house. Change the atmosphere. Get off the phone and get on your knees. Change the atmosphere. Stop talking less to man and start talking more to God. Change the atmosphere. There is an anointing coming upon this house to change the atmosphere. Are there any intercessors in this house that were willing to change the atmosphere?